what is not a problem for you? What is not a problem? A white man the, telling me that I'm going back. Here to we go again, white man. Push that to you. You, you please do, please do. Please take your racist stance and push I, it on me. Listen, I was born racist. The MP had been seeking to lead a team on a visit to the site but was incensed when the security manager insisted only elected members of the council would be given access. The MP was accompanied by five other people, two of whom were not elected members of the council. He made his displeasure known in no uncertain terms. You're not going to come and behave so stupid. So stupid. If it's five and I bring ten, I can see you quarrel. But two extra person? Yeah. If there's a problem, I will stay up. I will stay out. You, you, you may stay out. The two third party members will not come in. What don't you understand about that? I understand everything. You're going to put them out? They're already in. Call, call, call the Mr. Mr. Wilshaw. Call him Wilshaw. Well, then, then, then you're at an impasse because this is where we're at. It is council members only. As he argued for access, the head of security doubled down. It got more intense. One of the words the MP used is not fit for broadcast. We're not entertaining this all day. You're already. You have no you, choice because if I if I come in here, you, are, you only have to call the police because you can't touch me. And I will walk in as much as I want. Sir, why are you threatening me and always because causing this? Because you're ridiculous. This? You're ridiculous. And put that well, on the why, tape too. Why, why do you have to use profanity? I reached out to Mr. Walker for a response on the ruckus of the site. I asked him whether he regrets using an expletive and also about his general reaction. He said he was pushed to the edge by what he called the unreasonable stance of the security manager, but refused to apologize. Meanwhile, the Environment Division has made it clear in a letter there are no environmental breaches at the site where a golf course is being developed. The Department of the Environment, we conduct monthly um, assessment of the project and we do a quarterly assessment of compliance. So as of the end of June, I think of May, June, they are in compliance with what they have been approved for. Mr. Walker says the Secretary of the Council has not seen that letter, and according to him, even if he did, it would not assuage his concerns. The government, meanwhile, has made it clear this is a mega investment project, which is crucial to the country's economic recovery, especially amid the fallout from COVID-19. It is not the first time, though, tensions have run high outside the project. The Secretary of the Barbuda Council, 51-year-old Paul Ned, as well as another Barbuda resident, 52-year-old Alexander Garvey, have been charged in connection with the blocking of the entrance to the Palmetto Point development in Barbuda last month. 